So I started making my basket for my beach basket using Fun Stamper's Journey Oatmeal Cookie uh, eight and a half by 11 cardstock, which is basically a nice craft cardstock. And then I went to my spray box and I used Nuveo Sparkle Spray in cocoa powder and I got this nice sort of um, sand effect. And I only did it on the one side. Using the two Karen Burniston dies to make woven baskets, um, the 1080 woven basket card and the 1223 wide woven basket card. These are, when you put them together, you get this nice wide uh, basket that will fit into either a slim line, depending on how tall you make things, or I prefer to use uh, a six by nine catalog envelope works well. So those are the dies that I used. And basically I cut out uh, two of the wide piece sections and two of the smaller side sections. So here you can see I have those done, put together. I also cut out four of the grass inserts, which once I start putting it together, I may decide to make them into hills, sand hills, but I may leave some of the grass. I also cut out a tag um, from the tag book card set. And then from brown, I cut out two of the rope handles. So to assemble the side pieces, I first like to uh, fold the tabs. And then if you start from the bottom, you're gonna just weave the pieces back and forth through the, and the wide piece is the harder one to do, but it's also the easier one to show. So before I finish this, I like to take and put a little glue on my, the back side of that tab. So there we go. And then the top piece is the one that has the nice wide uh, entry. And this will probably be the most challenging part of your weaving because you have to get all three through each one. So here we go. As you can see, I'm just kind of working my way down the line, feeding them through and just trying to do it evenly. So, here we go. And then I'm just matching up the bottom of this with that, and I'm gonna go ahead and fold that over, but I'm not gonna glue it yet. I find that it's better to glue these after you've actually put the whole basket together but do make sure you fold the tabs first. So there's that one, and now we'll work on the smaller one. I strongly urge you to fold the tab first. It just is a little bit easier. So again, it's just a simple little fold. And again, I'm gonna take and a little glue on my bottom tab just to let that so we'll get this done and again 
or just fold that down. So there you have, you can kind of see it's woven. It looks a little bit like uh, the beach. Now, a lot of the glitter, the mica, comes off from the spray paint onto your hands. So it's just something to be aware of. To assemble the basket, you've got the four pieces. And all you're going to do is just... glue that. And I'm actually going to put a weight on top of that just to hold it down. I like to use my um, stamping blocks as that. They're nice and heavy. And again, I'm just gonna... And as you can see, I'm leaving this loose so that it can easily move some until we're ready to do this. So we've got this. So those look pretty good. So this is where this is folded this way. So, oh, we have these here. End up basically wanting to lie flat. So that as you can see, those are matching up. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing down these edges. sides of that and pushing that down and put a clamp or two on it. So for these, we'll get all the tabs bent. And then their installation, we just slide in. these to look. And I definitely think some of these need to be or need to be sand. But if I decide to do that, I think it's going to happen. And we can either have an extra one or such. These we're going to glue right here. And that will make that. 